Table the discussion for later. That's okay. You can continue this. It's like a good book. You put a bookmarker in it, put it up on the shelf, you pick it up later, you start right where you left off. All right, let's sit down. Test. You guys in the background there. Steve? Steven, you got to stop talking, my friend. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. All right, everybody up here. Okay. All righty, so, so far, show of hands. How do you guys like the event so far and all the content? It's really Woo! good, right? Yeah, it's awesome. It's, am it's amazing, and, and Stephen did a fantastic job there, over, over delivered. Um, okay, so we're going to finish up where we left off, and uh, our goal here is to pack as much value as we can in the last few hours that we have. We're going to shoot for 5.30, 6 o'clock, get as much done as we can in that time We frame. are? Okay. Okay. If we, if, can we do it? No. No. <laughs> it, I was thinking, honestly, I was thinking with a couple breaks, 7.30. 7.30? Maybe 8. Let's, let's, yeah, yeah. Is that if, all right if with you guys? If everybody can stay I, awake and they're right. good for it. it I'm going to be here to walk you through, so it's not like I'm going to say, I'll see you at 7.30. Yeah, I'm going to be here. We came a long way. Uh, we'll stay late. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. That's all fair. Right. You work hard, I'll work hard too. How about that? Yep. All right. Thanks, Chris. Is 7.30 okay? <laughs> He's going to kill me later. <laughs> He's like, why did you do that? Okay. So uh, I'm handing these around. Just take two of the same color. Okay? It's very easy instructions. Two of the same color. Please do not eat them yet. Okay? Two of the same color. Okay? Two of the same color. Two of the same color. Two of the same color. Here you go. Thank you much. All right, so the object of this is to teach a lesson. You don't have to uh, partake of these if you don't want to. The partaking is optional. And I'll tell you what you're about to partake in. Uh, probably the majority of you won't. <laughs> but it's just to, it's just to illustrate a point. And so this, is, this game is called Bean Boozled. It's uh, by Jelly Belly, which I love Jelly Belly. Okay, Jelly Belly is a producer of jelly beans, all kinds of great flavors. And this is a game because the, the, they make two different uh, flavors of jelly bean look exactly the same. You can't tell unless you bite into it, okay, what the difference is. And one is great, like Tutti Frutti. And the other one is spoiled milk, all right? And then there's one that's peach, and the alternate is barf. <laughs> they really do. Like, so so if, you, if you're prone to, like, a high gag reflex, please don't take, partake of these. <laughs> but if you want to have fun or just play around with this, please do. And as I pass that around, like, and you have fun with that, you, you can go ahead and partake now if you want. Um, you have my blessing. The, uh, if, you, if you have the guts, <laughs> you can squeeze it and smell it and tell. Um, but, yeah, there's, there's different flavors. Uh, like I said, peach is it's either peach or barf, juicy pear or booger, which I have no idea how they know what a booger tastes like. They got tutti frutti and stinky socks, strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish, berry blue or toothpaste. That one's actually kind of cool. It would probably be minty. Uh, chocolate pudding or canned dog food. That one's absolutely horrible. Uh, caramel corn or moldy cheese. And lime or lawn clippings. So if I were you, I'd go for the toothpaste or the lawn clippings. It's probably not that bad. You know, grass and toothpaste. So The point of this game is, is to be slightly entertaining, but at the same time, drive home when you're picking your niche. I don't want you guys to get stuck. I noticed a lot of people in Vegas were stuck on picking their niche, and some of you are still in that position. Show of hands, are you still st – who's stuck in the – haven't chosen a niche position? A few of you. Okay, don't be ashamed. I understand that, that pain and frustration, and so I'm using Bean Boozled to show you that you never know if you have a winner until what. You, you pony up and try it, right? Sometimes it's going to stink. Sometimes it's going to be a barf campaign, right? Sometimes it's going to be tutti-frutti, though. 
You know what I mean? So just a quick, uh, quick reminder about that, all right? Now, I'm going to share some recordings. That's what we were going to do before. Uh, while I get this set up, I've got a couple of, uh, couple of things I wanted to cover. Uh, Dimitri's dance, dance thing, he just put a post with the address in the Barcelona, uh, Barcelona Facebook group. Okay, so if you have that, uh, he's thinking 9 o'clock. Show of hands, who's going? Ah, that's 20 to 30 people, Dimitri, at least. All right, you got a good number? Okay, good deal. Uh, I have to say, uh, Stephen's, on a side note, Stephen's uh, images of Jill's office, like, is Jill single? <laughs> just, just kidding. Jill's hot. <laughs> Those are some great images, man. Makes me want to buy, you know. All right. Um, okay. Let's see. Da, 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 da. All right. So th another take, by the way, on what Stephen was saying with um, I, don't, I don't necessarily need your business, right? I've got three other guys behind you. I would use that personally as a last resort. Uh, you can use it however you want. Okay, I'm just going to give you some perspective. I think the, the, the piece that was missing there was you want to reestablish the value in a conversation with someone. So if someone's not understanding why they should pay you $500 for lead after you explain the discount actually goes to you for, you know, for earning that, you might want to go back through the numbers with them. And there's something magical happens when you do something with another person, uh, kind of like what we're doing now. I'm not teaching or preaching. We're doing it together, and you guys are asking questions, and we move forward together to where we're almost partners of sorts. And so if you have that kind of approach, you'll probably find that it was just a miscommunication of the value, and you won't have to go to the other three people. Uh, but if you have to, you could use it as a last resort. I just want to throw that in there because... Uh, value was brought up, but reestablishing it, I think, would be a good, a good point when you have someone that doesn't understand the value. That doesn't mean I don't want to do business with you. It means tell me, tell me again, like remind me again where the value is in doing business with you. Because as soon as they see it, they're going to do, they're going to say yes, right? Or say no. They could say no. And then you go to those three people uh, that you have on, on standby. Okay, so numbers. And then call recordings first. So let's see, we had a call recording right here. Specifically for rodent or insect issues, please press 1. For animal control, All right. be recorded. All right, so we know this call, they punched in the, the zip code, right? But they still convert. Join the more than 2 million families who trust Terminex and start protecting your home today. Press 1 to speak with a pest specialist. Press 2 for customer service. This call may be monitored or recorded. It may be recorded for quality and training purposes. Oh, thank you for choosing Terminex. This is Richard. How may I help you today? Hey, this is my name, Nancy in the sky. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you, sir? Uh, hey, I've got a problem, <laughs> got a problem with uh, roaches. They, they said they call German roaches. I don't know. Uh, one of the neighbors said they call German roaches. That's what I mean. That's what's very, that's what's very, very common is German roaches. Are you there? Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, I know what the neighbor said they were. Can you, can you get that one-time treatment for them? You, you, can't, you can't do one-time treatments for German roaches because they take multiple services. Because the way, the habit of the, of the roaches that they, you can spray and you can kill the adult, but the eggs hatch, and, you, and within a few days you're right back to where you were again. So we don't do one-time servicing for German, especially German roaches. Now, sometimes that takes could take as many as two, three, four visits you know, over a one or two month period. So we do have a service that guarantees the rhythm, but it's a quarterly service. We have we come out every three months scheduled with service in between and no extra charge. And I'll have to do that on that one. Okay, if you give me your street address and your zip code, I can tell you exactly what it would cost. There is a discount. Three. Three. Okay. Three. Half. 
Thailand Oaks Trail in Ormond Beach. Three Thailand? Thailand. Oh, it's just Thailand. Okay, I'm sorry. Thailand Oaks. Oaks Trail. Okay, and what's the zip code there? What is the zip code over there? Oh my goodness. This guy had to call back, by the way. And uh, we're over the two minute mark, so. Ka ching! Right? That's a 10 minute call. I'm not going to bore you to death. But I wanted you to hear, like, I got roaches, right? It's not, it's not, uh, uh, hey, I'm, I'm calling to see what pest control looks like in the next couple of weeks sometime. It's, I need them right now. I need, I need pest control service right now. And he was trying to save money because he's like, can, you, can I do a one-time treatment? Like he had talked to somebody and apparently he thought maybe he could do a one-time treatment and get rid of them. But that's not how it works with those kinds of roaches because apparently they're German roaches. So <laughs> that's how it goes, right? They dig trenches? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Not going to touch that one. <laughs> Loaded weapon there. Loaded weapon there. Okay, so I'm going gonna, gonna to spend a lot of time on that since we went over. I just want to cover some numbers with you uh, and show you um, what this pest control offer looks like. You guys ready to see some data? Data, data? Okay. Who says data? Who says data? You're both right. <laughs> All right, so the offer was pest control. Pest control spent $1,076.19. Yes, I went that granular, okay? Profit, uh, profit is only $252. Now before you guys shoot me in the back while I have it turned, it's okay. <laughs> Remember, we spent the money to earn the data, not money. This is, this is like earning some of your investment back. Now, show me an investment where you have to put up front, for you spend up front money for data, and you earn some of that back, and, you know, we'll, talk, we'll have a talk. But this is actually bonus money if you think of it. Expect, expect to spend maybe not this much, but spend something, okay, something of significant value to get significant data. How do you know when it's significant? I'm about to show you some key indicators between locations, days, and hours that will show you if you have enough data or not, okay? And you tell me if you think I have enough data, all right? It's going to be a good test. All right, so $252. The call qualifying uh, conditions, qualifying call conditions, excuse me, I don't know what, what the hell's going on, uh, is greater than, excuse me, wrong way, Greater than two minutes, all right? Greater than two minutes. Can you guys see that? I think my marker's running out. Uh, there's some markers in the back in that little red tub behind you, Cedric. Thank you. My money's got it. Awesome. My money. So greater than two minutes. Thank you. And the payout needs to be... That might be in the way. Hold on, let me put it over here. Greater than two minutes. Everybody see that okay? All right, greater than two minutes, uh, $7 per call. Payout. In the U.S., have to forgive my handwriting. I'm left-handed, and I'm horrible on a board, but you guys, hopefully you pick this up. So... Greater than two minutes, got to be in the U.S., $7 a payout, and it's from 8 a.m. Eastern Standard to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. All right, so 12 hours. I've got 12 hours to make, make money, right, and get calls in. Uh, it pays $7 per qualified call, which a qualified call is more than two minutes in the U.S. Everybody follow? And, uh, oh, excuse me. I think also it's uh, they pressed one. They press number one, right? If they press number two, it took them to uh, animal control. If they press number three, it took them to animal rehabilitation. If you remember the IVR, everybody remember the IVR? 
Okay, good. Yes, sir. No. No. Oh, do I get charged on AdWords? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely I do. That's why it's important to get the keywords right. We're going to go over that when we do AdWords. Good question. Thank you, sir. All right, so everybody clear on the offer, the spend, the profit, and the call conditions. Everybody good there? Okay. Good deal. So locations. So when I ran this ad, uh, the, actually I ran four different campaigns, okay, just to spread the money out and try it different places. Um, you remember how I told you guys about the IVR, right? How it was messed up and how I missed a bunch of calls? Okay, so let me explain how much on the initial findings I was missing. I counted 47 calls, which is a hell of a lot from 231, by the way. It's 231 calls and 36 paid. Okay? That was that 18% eight conversion rate, I think. Okay. 47 calls were at that 45 second mark after the zip code when somebody hung up and said, oh, I don't want to do the second, the second IVR, basically, right? All right, so I just wanted to do the initial findings before I go through that. Um, okay. All right, so now I'm going to go through the actual data. So Florida had four. Georgia had three. Illinois had six. Louisiana had one. Michigan had three. North Dakota had one. Mississi uh, I didn't put Mississippi. Don't worry about that. Alabama, one. Indiana, two. Texas was one. And Ohio was three. Okay. And I had a few more conversions. I just want to give you an example of what I was. So these are conversions. These are converted calls that I got paid $7 on and what state they were in. Actually, I have it down to the city. So tomorrow when we go over AdWords, specifically the campaigns and how to read the terrain, I'm going to show you where to find that, okay? So don't worry about that. Just take my word for it. This is where they came from. I'll show you tomorrow for sure, okay, where they come from and how to find that. So that's where my initial data shows me the conversions are, where the traffic is at, for people that desperately need pest control. Remember, I'm converting like 90% of the, of the calls that go over two minutes, Okay, 90% of those are sales. Sales. Um, all right, so days. So if we got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right. So Saturday we had six. Friday one. Thursday three. Wednesday one. Tuesday five. Monday 8, and Sunday 6. Everybody see that on the days? So this is when the conversions came in by the day. See how, see how that is? Okay. Data that I can also find in AdWords. So this is all in your AdWords uh, reporting, okay, that I can show you how to find. Hours. So from... 5 a.m. I say 5 a.m. because I'm uh, my AdWords account is on Pacific time, so 5 a.m. is actually 8 a.m. Eastern, right? Pretty pretty simple math. So 5 a.m. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. All right. So we got Bupkis. Three, one, four. One, two, two. Twelve was two. Thirteen is two. Fourteen hundred is seven. Fifteen one. Sixteen one. No, sixteen two, excuse me. And seventeen bupkis. Okay. Everybody see that? The X means there was nothing, no conversions. So by the hour of the day, okay, down to the hour, which hours convert the highest? Everybody see that? Okay. Now here's what I want to share with you. I found some stuff. Obviously I found the, the IVR problem. But I also found uh, a better offer, an affiliate offer that pays for pest control that pays $12, $12 a call. 
So I could do $12 a call, all right? And it also runs, guess what, 24-7. That's kind of nice, right? I get double the hours. Now, I don't know what converts on those odd end hours, right? But I happen to, I happen to think of a housewife who flips on the light and roaches scatter. She might have had enough, and it might be 9 o'clock <laughs> at night. And if you have 24-7 in your ad copy, she might be on the phone looking for pest control to call first thing in the morning and see that at 9 o'clock at night, she can call right now. And because she's so freaked out or icked out by roaches, she may hit that call button. You guys follow? But what time of night do housewives or, or ladies or even men get icked out by roaches? I don't know. But I guarantee you there's a pattern. There's, a, there's definitely a pattern. You guys see any patterns yet? Tell me what you guys see. Monday what? Weekends and Monday, right? Tuesday's not too bad. What, what's Wednesday and Friday look like? Right? Like, eh, not too bad. All right, so where am I going to, am I going to stop bidding on those? No, there's five conversions there. What am I going to do? And I'll show you how to do this tomorrow with the ads. I'm going to increase the bids for these times. See that? I'm going to leave these alone, leave these standard, but I'm going to put the majority of my money where the conversions are. All right, what do you think that's going to do for my, my costs? Whew. Go way down, right? And that's just for the days. Let's go and do that for the hours. What converts better on the hours? Early morning is looking good. Look, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12 is looking good. 2, 1 is okay. 4 is okay. All right, so basically anything from 6 to 4, right? 6 to 4, that's not too bad. I don't know why is that a, looks like a 7. There's a 3, Okay. So now, again, I increase the bids on these times, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. All right? What about states and locations? What stands out? Florida, Georgia, Illinois. What about Michigan and Ohio? I never would have thought Michigan and Ohio. I thought mostly the south, right? Apparently, some of the Midwest is... Got some bug problems, right? Absolutely. And guess what? You can find out based on search terms. I'll show you how tomorrow. Good question. I like, I like, see, you guys are thinking. I like that. That's good. It's exciting, right? You start seeing the light bulbs come on, right? You guys are getting it. I love it. All right. So I'm going to increase my bids on what? Those locations. Is this all the locations that convert the best? No. I've only spent a grand. Right? I've only spent a grand. So is this enough for me to start narrowing in and start pulling in profitable or making my campaign profitable though? Right? Okay. Let me show you how much profit we're talking. All right. Everybody get your calculators out. You got your phones on you or app on your, on your computer, calculator, whatever you got to do, calculator. <clears throat> or as we say in the South, calculate. Calculate. No? You guys don't say that? <laughs> All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to take, uh, well, actually, I'll ask you guys. Out of 47 calls that I missed on the IVR, right, the IVR problem, conservatively, not aggressive, just conservatively, how, how do you guys feel about taking 50% of those and saying they could have turned into sales? Is that conservative? Yeah. If it's not, please speak up, and I'll, I'll ask you what, what you feel. Is it good? Raise hands if it's good. Okay, good. So that's 23 calls, right? Half at 23. All right. So let's take $7. Remember, I, made 30, I got 36 paid, right? If we added 23, that's 59, right? Everybody get that? Okay. Simple math so far, right? This is money math. This is my favorite math. So 59. And if we multiply that by 7, what do we get? 4 what? 415? 4, 413. Okay, $413. Is that a little better? It is, right? And by the way, we're guessing that 50% is all that, 
that wanted it. If my, if my calculations were right based on the 90% that did com uh, out of the ones that did convert turned into sales, it's probably a lot higher than that. But I'm going to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. Okay, we're going to keep moving on. So there's the IVR, right? I'm able to like double the business. You guys see that from 252 to 413? Everybody following along so far? Anybody lost? Raise your hand if you're lost. It's okay. I will find you a way home. No? Okay, good. Let's move into days. Actually, excuse me, let's move into locations. So by raising my bids in the, in the locations that convert the most and keeping the ones that still have conversions just the same, right? I'm going to be able to double what I, what I make in my ad spend. Does everybody understand why? Because I'm spending my money where the conversions are. Look, look at the average. Four, three, six, three, three. So what is that? That's uh, four plus three, six, seven, six is 13, 16, 19. 19 divided by one, two, three, four, five. What's 19 divided by five? Basically almost four. It's just under four, right? So if I pull four conversions on average and then the lower, look at this, one, one, two, one, is that not double? Four versus two on the average? This is actually like 1.5. Is, is 3.8, 3.9 double 1.5? It's more than double, right? So is it fair to say that location, once we hone in, we get two times the money? But guess what? It's compounded. Because we fixed the IVR, it's not double 252, it's double what we're going to make when, when the IVR is fixed. Does everybody understand that? Everybody follow. Any, raise your hand if you're lost on this one. No one? Everybody's good? It's easy math, right? Easy money math. Okay, so that's what? If we're double, 826. How does that look compared to that? We're getting there. We're getting there, all right? Not too, ter not too terrible. And <laughs> keep in mind, guys, this is off of initial spend. Right? We haven't we haven't optimized on this yet, but we're going to. Yes, ma'am. You. Yeah. With the hand up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh I'm not sure where it is. I need some water anyway. Everybody following along okay? Everybody good? Okay. Hi. Um okay. So obviously you have ads that are running and they're being being seen because people have clicked through on them. So um, when Google is trying to decide which ads to display, you know, the way it ranks them and so on, um, you're talking about by doing the location, you, you're doubling that. Now, I'm trying to figure this out. If there were 20 people searching and your ads are being displayed because you've bid enough, how are you suddenly getting double? Because surely you still only have 20 people searching and you, we're already getting clicks. I get the question. So, okay, Here's the thanks. answer. Here's your answer. I didn't get 100% of the impressions. I got a less than 10%. Actually, I'll show you tomorrow. It's less than 10%, which means I haven't even hit 10% of what's available, and those are my numbers. Holy shit, right? That's pretty cool because that means there's a lot more conversions on these, okay, that you can hit. That's a good question. Very good question. I like how you're thinking. But everybody's in agreement so far. IVR, I can double my income by fixing it at an at a absolute conservative rate, okay? Location, it's dead on the money, right? I'll, well, a little over. 3.8 versus 1.5. You get the idea, right? Okay. Everybody in agreement there? Good? Okay. Now we go to days. Let's talk about days for a second. Let's do the average. 6, 8, 5, and 6. That's 12, 8, it's 20. 25 divided by 4 is 6 point something, right? Okay. Versus 1, 3, 1. What is that, 2? I think the average is 2. 5 divided by 3, it's actually 1.6. Actually, 1.6. So 6 versus 1.6. Is it fair to say that that's actually triple? But let's call it double. I want to be fair. I want to be con absolutely 100% conservative. I, I don't know what anybody's politics here are. Don't give a damn. But on, on our numbers, let's go conservative because I want to make sure that you hit the profit zone even on the most conservative and strict numbers. You guys follow? Because I want you guys to be profitable. Because so, some of you are going to stick with just the affiliate stuff. I'm okay with that. Let's just make you profitable though, right? Now, when you go to the client side, if you're already profitable, you're going to make even more, right? So 
So on the days, it's actually triple, but let's do double. 826 times 2, 1652, right? Anybody see what's going to happen? We are going to happen here? Anybody excited yet? We're not even done. We're not even done. All right, so we go to hours, okay? Let's do the average. It's going to be probably double. So someone do this for me. Three, four, two, 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 seven, two. What's that? What is it? I can't hear. 224? 24? 24. So 24 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 24 divided by 8 is 3. All right? So our average is 3 conversions on, on the good hours. Now, someone do this. 1, 1, 1, nothing, nothing. So three ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What's 5 divided by 3? What is it? 0.6, right? Is that right? Is it 1.6? 3 divided by 5. 0.6. Okay. So 0.6 versus, what was it, 3? Is that fair to say it's more than double? It's more, it's more like 3, 4, to, actually it's like 4, almost 5. 5 times. Let's just call it double. Okay. I'm not going to try to fill you with uh, visions of, you know, sugar plums and all that, right? Whatever the, whatever the, however the tale goes. So let's just do double again. Okay. What is that? 3304. Let me put that up here for perspective. <laughs> Can someone do the math on that? 3304 minus 1076.19? What's that? Two tw uh, what is it? Yeah, that's fine. I just need round numbers. It's a profit. I don't give a damn. <laughs> right? I'm making good money, right? That's what I clear. Okay? Yes, sir. Increasing your bids, if you increase your ad spend on where you're making more conversions, Google's going to see that and say, oh, it's a higher click-through rate. It must be better ad quality because we're going to set up the pages correctly, right? Uh, we're going to lower your cost per click. So you're actually going to get, if you stay the same on the bids, on the increased bids, you're going to get more clicks, meaning more conversions too, which also means less money spent or the same money spent. So the same 1,076 spent this way, optimized, will make ungodly amounts compared to what, what I did the first time around. But only because I looked at the data points. Everybody see that? I went through, I knew where to look, I read it, and I said, hmm, I think I'm going to spend money here. <laughs> I'm going to increase my bids here. Everybody follow? Now, we've got a bonus thing that, again, we're not going to, I don't have any date on when it's rolling out, okay? But when we're able to roll this out for SMS retargeting, okay? Everybody follow on SMS retargeting, right? You're going to be able to double again, maybe even more than double, all right? But I'm just going to conservatively say double, all right? Even though the industry standard for retargeting on any kind of platform has always been eight or nine to one for every dollar spent, which is nuts. It's 800, 900% return. Uh, I'm just going to say just double it, right? Even if all you did was double it, where does that ultimately end up putting you? Around the $4,500 range, right? Now, how do you feel? Did you, do, you mind, do you mind spending that much money now up front to, to figure the data points to make, to make the kind of money that one or two offers is all you need to make a six-figure income from affiliate world, from affiliate world? Now, here's where, here's where shit gets really cray-cray, all right? <laughs> let, me, let me show you guys this. Anybody know what cray-cray means? -cray? Everybody knows? Okay, good. So we were at 36 paid, right? Now, 36 pay plus 23, that takes care of this one. Now, if we take 59 and we multiply it by 2, what's 59 uh, multiplied by 2? 128, or what is it? 118. 
That's how many conversions, by the way. We're counting up how many conversions this, this would equal, this 4,500, right? And I'm going to show you what that looks like on the local client side. Multiplied by 2, 118 is uh, 232, 236, right? 236, there we go. 236 times 2, so 472. 472 times 2 when you get SMS going. 9 what? 944? So 944 conversions, right? That's, that's what $4,500 is, roughly, give or take, in the affiliate world. Affiliate world. Everybody follow? Everybody see how we got that math? Raise your hand if you're lost. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So 944 conversions. How much did we, uh, how much, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, do you doubled the wrong number on the 3,300. That's all. It should be 6,600. Oh, my bad. I made more money. <laughs> what was it, 6,600? Yeah, 33. Right. Double that, 6,600. That's net. Okay. Everybody follow that? It's actually 6,600. My bad. Right. Five to one on your money, which is four to one. Excuse me, four to one. So you made four to one on your money. Anywhere from three to five, you can, you can probably, again, those were conservative doubles, very conservative doubles in some cases. Right. See, we haven't increased them. <laughs> you guys are catching on quick. Okay. So seven dollars uh, so 944 times 12 is what who what is it somebody got a calculator up right what's that it's 113 11 three, 11 holy shit that's nice that's five figures after you've spent your money Everybody see that? <laughs> 11 figures, or five figures after you spend your, 11 figures, goodness. Five figures after you spend your money, $11,000, 10000 left. Uh, okay. But here's where it gets crazy with the, the local clients. So 944 conversions. And what did you guys, again, conservatively, everybody, by show of hands, what is a conservative, we'll just go with lead. I won't even, I won't even bother you with the sales. What would you sell a lead for in pest control? Raise your hand for 20 bucks. One person. Okay. I'm not going to judge anybody. Raise your hand for 30. A few. 40. For a lead. 40 for a lead. Okay. About half. And 50. Probably the other half. Okay. So 40 to $50. I'm going to go on the low end, and I'm going to go with, like, the three people in the room that thinks 30. So what's 944 times 30? Right. On a thousand dollar investment, Joe says. It's almost hard to believe, isn't it? It's a little, little hard to wrap your head around. It's like shit. Is he playing magic tricks up here? Like, uh, no. It's the numbers do not lie, and these doubles are real. This is real. People are making eight, ten grand a month just on affiliate offers. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding around. But you have something they don't. You've got Callzoo. You've got the training in place. You've got the people you can reach out to to turn that eight, ten grand a month into twenty-seven grand a month in one niche, one niche. And you can grow even more than that. Yes, sir. Also, just as a thought on the local calls, but the local clients, you will have more calls in nine hundred and forty-four. You will. The qualifying period will be less. Yep. Plus, yeah, he's right. Qualifying period. It's not going to be two minutes. Probably a minute. Remember how you guys said, oh, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or a missed call. That's going to be way more than 944. Plus, how many of these guys have um, phone trees? Most of your clients probably won't have a phone tree. It's going to go direct to someone answering the phone. Do you think that results in a higher conversion? Yeah, especially if you've got keywords that we're going to go over in, in keyword discovery here in a minute that are targeted on high buyer intent. Everybody follow? Any questions? Who's excited? Raise your hand before we get to the question. <laughs> kind of loaded question there. Yes, sir. Question in the back. So this is a model when there are assumptions which don't always work out in real life. Did you actually do this and um, prune the tree down and 
um, improve everything and what happened? Right now, this offer, I have this data that I've shared with you. I'm right. going to go back and I'm going to, as soon as I get back, which is why I'm going back early instead of spending some time in Barcelona, <laughs> I'm going to be working on trimming this down and sharing that case study with you and showing you what comes of it. And then I'm going to take it even further for those of you who want to go after local clients. And I'm going to go land a couple of pest control clients and record the calls and give you, give you the, everything start to finish. So no matter where you jump off the train, if it's promoting affiliate offers only or promoting affiliate offers to get data so that you can pick up local clients, or if it's just only local clients, get the data as you go, wherever you're at, you'll be covered with that case study. Is that, is that, does that sound good? Everybody good? Everybody okay if I do that? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, please. You're, okay. Good deal. Don't go. Yeah, see, now nobody wants me to, like, have a good time in Barcelona. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. I'm out. I'll see y'all. <laughs> Question. My money. Yeah. Can we talk about the cost per clicks and, like, increase in the bid? Because are you... Yep. Are you keeping your budget the same and then just moving the money to... That's it. Okay. Keeping the budget the same, moving the money to where it's making more money, okay. right? That's a good question. Uh, bid increases. I would start 15, 20% increases on, on the money makers. 15 to 20% increase in location on the bid. 15 to 20% increase on days, hours, right? The IVR is just something you get fixed. Everybody follow? Good. Sir, bid modifier within uh, within AdWords. Am I doing what modifier? The your percentage of increases. Are you doing that through the, the bid modifier within You're, AdWords? Yeah, the bid adjustments you do through AdWords. Yes, sir. And it's real easy. It's just a couple couple clicks. Just got to know where to put them in. Yes, sir. Bill Robertson from somewhere in California. It's part the of mountain. your name now. You know that, right? <laughs> the Northern California mountains. Northern California mountains. Okay, so the, uh, reality setting in when I was doing this kind of bidding for, for you know cost per click was things would be you know moving. You'd be making a certain profit, and then all of a sudden your same bids would just die. You wouldn't get any traffic. Mm -hmm. And you know, so what do you propose to do? Do you start the bidding? You know, do you start a bidding war there? Do you just let that cool period, leave it in place and watch for and wait for it to come back up? I mean, what do you recommend in that I recommend, situation? I recommend that you go into your search terms and find what people are actually typing into Google, right? You'll find some people that are actually talking to their phone. Uh, and I'll show you all this again tomorrow when we go through the AdWords campaigns and how to optimize. So which, while I appreciate the optimizing questions, I don't want to like spend a lot of time, a lot more time on this because we actually got to get into keyword discovery. But I will tell you, we do cover that. And the answer, the short answer is, you always want to be finding those new key keywords and new campaigns to open up and run based on the feedback that you get. When Chris was talking earlier about the feedback and then optimizing even further and creating new campaign ideas. So I'll give you a good example. I got a pest control, I had a pest control call Someone said the word fumigation. Totally didn't even think of that one. I was like, shit. Had to go make a new, a new set, right? A whole new set for fumigation. And that's going to bring in more traffic, right? Or maybe not. Maybe it's not a good idea. Got to test it. Okay, right? so your point is you can keep the, the, the bid the same, but you have more rabbits to pull out of your hat in the optimization, optimization stage later to be able to get around those, those stall points and to continue, you got it. continue improving. Thank you. You got it. Ultimately, you're only going to have a few keywords that are, that, excuse me, that are the money makers. You're only going to have a few locations that are the money makers. You'll have, don't get me wrong, you'll have conversions in different states and whatnot. And it, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Every conversion counts in that case. But again, we want to put the focus on what? 80-20 rule, right? So we, wa we want to go where the money's at. For sure. Definitely want to increase the, the, the bid adjustments there so that Google says, okay, he wants to spend money where, there's, where he's making money. Got it. No problem. Oh, got another question. Actually, it's more of a statement that I'm realizing. Just like what Chris says with the call zoo sites, it's a long, slow process. This is three weeks. Well, but still, it's... So th another three weeks from now, you guys are going to be like, holy shit, uh, when I give you guys an update, right? It's exactly. It's going to be crazy. You've got it compressed. But the issue is, 
I would give up way too early when I would start into a campaign and I wouldn't hold long enough because I didn't have these dials to twist and right. the levers to, you know, to, to pull. Right. And so. I'm going to show you where those dials are, when to twist them, right? The whole nine. Got it. Everybody Thank good? You. Everybody excited still? Yeah. All right, good. Uh, so that's it for the numbers. Any questions before I uh, move this out of the way? Because we're gonna actually going to we're actually going to start on uh, keyword discovery, I believe. Am I right? Keyword discovery. Yeah, keyword discovery. Then we're going to build a site. Actually, we need to pick an offer, then do keyword discovery. Questions? 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 Yeah. Question back in the back, uh, Patrick. Is that right, Patrick? What's that? David. Oh, you look like Patrick. Where's Patrick at? No, no, no. Patrick, Patrick. Apparently I'm wrong. Sorry. Go ahead, David. <laughs> thought there was another Patrick. Do you use advanced AdWords scripts? I do advanced AdWords scripts. Yes, I do. Uh, that is advanced. <laughs> and while I do teach that, it's much later because it's advanced. That would explode everybody's head here. <laughs> AdWords scripts, just so you know, Okay, I'm not going into them during this training. Uh, AdWords scripts are things that code, actually code that someone actually, I've got a list of, of scripts that you can plug in, just plug and play. So you don't have to code anything, okay? Show you how to load them in, and they auto-optimize your bids and shut off the low performers and all kinds of cool stuff automatically, which comes in handy not when you have one client, but when you have 100. Is that, that kind of makes it a little less time involved, and so... It, it helps you effectively scale without having to hire somebody just yet. So you can grow, and when you can do that, when you can make that kind of money and not have to hire out to someone yet, you make more. You make more on your margin, and then you can wait and train and find someone that's worth a crap to to take over that position, if that makes sense, and take some of that pressure off of you because you're making so much money that you can afford to do that now, and you can afford to pay someone a primo versus someone from the Philippines or someone who's just not going to put in those eight hours like Stephen was talking about to put in the put in the time. Everybody good? All right. So no more questions on uh, the numbers? Bless you. Everybody good? All right. Uh, let me grab that chair. I'm good. I got it. Thank you. All right. I'm going to sit down. Is that all right if I sit down? You sure? All right, so we're going to cover keyword discovery. First thing we got to do is pick an offer. So before I get started on that, keyword discovery, <laughs> obviously we've got to have an offer to build keywords around. Here's your task over the next five minutes. I want you to log into one of your platforms. And it, it doesn't matter which. And I want you to pick an offer based on the, quali the qualifications of what you want to for getting started. So a getting started offer. Remember, that's not the one that's paying out $500 a call. It's the one that's paying out anywhere from 10 to 30. It's a 24-7 offer, home services, something you're comfortable with. Okay? So I want you to spend five minutes doing that. And while you do that, I'm going to log into some, some uh, accounts so we can go over keywords. And if you have, oh, by the way, sorry, sorry, boys and girls. If you have questions on whether or not you have a good enough offer, when you're on the screen for, the, for, for applying to the offer, just raise your hand, get on the mic, and tell me what the qualifications are, like two minutes, one minute 30, 
24-7, what the offer is, what the EPCs are. Tell me the, those stats, and I'll tell you if it's yay or nay, if you have a question. If you already know what you're doing, great, awesome, you're the stud. There's a hand raised in the back. Is that Mr. Grant? Hey, how are you, sir? Good, I'm good. Yes, uh, just barely, but yes. Where's the, we got a mic here somewhere. Hold on a minute, sir. There we go. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I've already got a niche that I've been pre-approved for with okay. my partner. So I'm just wondering whether it's worth going with that because it was, I picked it based on other criteria because uh, I've got a directory site in this niche. So, okay. I'm um, just wondering whether it's worth going with this because it's about a $20 niche. Uh, $20, it, I think it pays at 90 seconds and it's uh, $20. Average payout. So Say that again. It's 90 seconds, $20 it, average payout? Yeah. And it's for what? It's uh, solar. It's the Solar? M yeah, it's the My Solar. Okay. So I'm just wondering if uh, I should just carry on using that because I've already got approval and I've already got the um, creatives approved and everything. Absolutely. I don't see any reason why not. And we've just been in and got That sounds the, good. We've got the number as well. So Is it 24-7, sir? It is a 24-7, yeah. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Good quality offer. Nice. Mr. Robertson. The half, or so, half a dozen or so that I've looked at say it has to be within hours, even though it's a 24-7 call. Does that make a difference? Uh, what do you mean within hours? I'm just reading it right here. It says $9 per call if in region and during hours and connect duration greater than two minutes. Right. Hours, hours of operation, 24-7. Right. Does that make a difference? Do you want to be able to have offers you know, intake 24-7? That's or? what that is. <laughs> well, I'm confused by... I made a hours. joke on it earlier. Do you remember the uh, the hours of operation being, you know, oh, I don't, I can't imagine being outside of operating hours if it's 24-7. You can't be on a 25th hour. <laughs> no, <laughs> right? so, you gotta... <laughs> so what you're saying here is during hours for 24-7 doesn't make any sense. It's any, t you know... It's like if it was seven to nine. During hours is a stand. Think of, think of it this way. You're an affiliate platform. You've got all kinds of offers that have all kinds of different time restrictions. Some of them are 27. Some of them are 12 hours, right, like I showed you. So when they say during hours, it just means look up above. And if it's just 24-7, it's 24-7. Okay? So it's boilerplate. Okay. I right. It's boilerplate. 24-7 is 24-7. Yes, sir. On 24-7, there are no restrictions. No restrictions. Christmas Day, you can make some money. That's kind of cool, too, by the way. Somebody, somebody somewhere sees roaches when, on Christmas morning. <laughs> you know what happens. You laugh, but it's true. Making a call on Christmas Day. Do you do, you, sir, do, you do one service? No, ma'am, we don't. I'm trying to get the uh, campaigns to show. There we go. Any other questions on campaigns? Good questions so far. I love it. Who does not have an offer? Raise your hand. Good amount of people. Okay. If you have questions on why, I'm here. Take full advantage. I won't complain. That's fine. Yeah, they do that to, to judge the quality of the call. Yeah, if you see a cap on the number of calls like, oh, for the first 15 days you can only drive 25 calls, that's okay. They're trying to see if you have high converting traffic. And if you do, they're going to let you open the floodgates, which is great. Yes, two, two questions in the back here, right here. Um, I've got one which says um, pay out 11 bucks per call if in region and during hours. Uh, greater than two minutes, that's okay, but no payout if caller calls back within 30 days. Yes. That's, a, that's just a, if you get a second call and they've already converted, if, if you've already been paid on their first call and they call back again within 30 days, you're not getting paid on that. And that's just a, that's just a recall. Actually, you guys saw an example of that where it was an 18 minute second call that I didn't get paid on. That's what that, that's the same thing. That's, yeah. So you're good there. What's the location? Is it U.S.? Is it Geo? U.S.? Okay, great. So it's... Um, Paid search. 
is approved. I can almost guarantee it. Paid search. Paid so search. It's, it's search under mobile. It no. Pay search, pay search. It it's not, say, no. It doesn't say paid search. Which offer? And which platform? Um, it's Ring Partner. Ring Partner, which offer? And it's uh, get a stair lift now. Oh, the stair lift offer. Hold on just a sec. I'll find it. Let me look at everything first. No call center traffic, but you're not running a call center. Okay. I see mobile SMS and other. No, I want to see the restricted only. The ones that have a check mark mean you can do it. Yeah. They so what, where's the where's the challenge? Yeah, the, the challenge is for if you do paid search, it's under search, isn't it? So you do paid search. Yeah. Well, just, it, nowhere does it say. I can't see anywhere where it says paid search. It just says search. Well, it may not say exactly paid search. Let's okay. go through and I'll show you. Okay. okay. I see what you're saying. You see where it says online and it says search. Yeah. That's pay search. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. What you want to focus on is, is it, is it not allowing paid search, which again, most offers want paid search. They don't want the offline methods that you see, like an SMS, direct SMS, right? The retargeting they're going to allow, and we're going to work that in, in the future. But I just want you to, you know, paid search is search. In that case, and it, it's going to be worded. Glad, glad you we clarified, got the language right, because that's important. Each platform is going to be different on how they how they say that. Some might actually say, yeah. Some might say paid search. And again, if you have a question about that, who do you ask? Pick up the phone. Everybody remember this one, right? Pick up the phone. Talk to your affiliate manager. They're going to have the answers for you. Yes, sir. Right there in the in the middle there. Hi. Um, do you consider offers that don't have an established seven-day or thirty-day baseline? You, you know? faded out. Can you oh, can you put? Is yep. that okay? That's much better. Do you consider offers that don't have an established seven-day or thirty-day EPC? Do I consider those offers yeah, starting the new out? Ones, basically, yeah. starting out. No. <laughs> I want to see them. perform. I want to see performing ads or okay. performing campaigns rather. I want to see you. the see them. Show me the money, right? Jerry McGuire, For those of you who. Are not movie buffs. No one likes Jerry Maguire. Help me help you. <laughs> no repeat calls? Okay, so if you have a repeat call that yeah. you've already been paid on with call number one, the repeat call you don't get paid on if it's within 30 days. It says no payout of caller calls back within 30 days. Is that Which is what I just said. Here, look at, look at me. Look at me real quick. No, no, no. Look at me real quick. If you if you see that, yeah. here's what that means. Call number one got paid. Okay, that's, that's fine. Call number yeah. two, if it's within 30 days, a repeat call, that would be a repeat call, right? Not going to be paid okay. if it's within 30 days. If it's not within 30 days, you get paid again. Okay, good deal. Good question. Any other questions? There we go. Just looking at commission junction and... Okay. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'm trying to just type in like pest control. And nothing's you, really coming the up. The mic. There Nothing. you go. It's really hard to hear it because like I'm, I'm kind of far away and the speakers help me hear better. Just on commission, there you go. commission junction. I got that one. Yeah. Um, trying to find offers uh, on there for, for this. I mean, I've gone through the keywords and so forth and it's like for pest control, it's not, nothing's coming up. No offers. Are you are you trying to go for pest control? Oh, we're just just looking for an offer. Okay. Yeah. Do you want pest control? Yeah. Go to a platform that's got it. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm just wondering whether, but I've typed in some other ones. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you should be able to find pest control offers in a couple platforms. Yes, sir. In the back. Good question. How, show of hands before this question. 
Who does not have an offer still? Hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. Hold your hand up. Uh, okay, we're getting there. Yes, sir. Uh, I couldn't find enough. I'm only. Uh, I've only got access to two uh, uh, networks. I've just logged on to Commission Junction. Um, it's quite confusing. How do you find the pay per call um, offers? Is there an pay per call should have a link in the upper right hand corner on the navigation on CJ. Should say pay per call and it'll automatically redirect you to their Invoca or. If you're already logged into another network on Invoca, upper right-hand corner and the drop-down, you should see CJ um, for, yeah, for the I've, Invoca. I've got exact match media, Okay. but I haven't got um, CJ linked to it. I, well, I, I applied for it, CJ first and got done with that, so I may have a different pass. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen that. Um, Are you logged the, into exact match media right now? I'm logged into Exact Match Media and Commission Junction. Okay. Are you in Invoca in one of those two? Uh, yes. Exact Which Match one? Media. Exact Match Media. Go to, the upper, go to the upper right-hand corner of that screen. Yeah. I haven't got CJ. It's not listed? No. So then just, I would just log out of that, go to CJ, and click on the paper call link at the top and go into Invoca that way, log in that way, and go to CJ and check out the offers. I can't see a link that says pay per call. Should be in the upper right-hand corner of the main CJ website, the main CJ website, cj.com, log I, in. I'm on, I'm on the dashboard of cj.com, so members.cj.com. Let me come take a look. Members. Let me see. Excuse me. Thank you. That's all right. Mm, go back to yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an old PC. What's that? It's an old PC. <laughs> it's oh, that's okay. Um, Placements, advertisers, widgets. Looks like you're not signed up for paper call. You don't have it activated. There should be a link in the upper right-hand corner for paper call to take you to Invoca. Oh, so you have a CJ account, but you don't have paper call activated. You, guess what? You got to call your affiliate manager and get that activated. So you don't have access uh, to paper call, and that's why it's also not showing up under your Invoca dropdown. Yeah. Because it's not activated. But when it does, it's going to be in the upper right-hand corner. You'll be able to click on that. Okay. Good question. Glad we clarified that. So I'd find I'd go to another network, Exact Match Media, something like that. Find an offer. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Um, I've found one in health insurance niche and it's $25 payout, but I'm, nice. I just need to check what the ads might cost um, because, you know, maybe the ads, because I imagine it's competitive, um, maybe the cost of the ads might be $20 or $30, $30 to place initially, the ads. Initially, so, yes. Yeah. Initially, yes. But guess what? Mm -hmm. You get, well, you get data and from that data, yeah. You, you hone in on where to spend the money and make profit. You okay. follow? Yeah, so you shouldn't be afraid. Like, uh, right. You shouldn't be checking really what the price is before applying? Nope. Okay, cool. Thanks. Nope. That rings especially true if you're going after local clients. If you're just going after affiliates, it's, it's true. It's just even more exciting for the local side. Yes, sir. Would you consider variable rate offers? Uh, not before a phone call to the affiliate manager. <laughs> I want to know what variable means. I want you to tell me what it's based on. Oh, it's based on what they deem. Well, I need to have a conversation with somebody then about what, what that definition is because I don't want to send traffic to someone who's going to shortchange me or be inclined to, even if it's on the initial traffic because I want to make money, right? If I'm helping them make money, they're already making money. If I'm sending them people, I want to be able to cash in on that too. Don't shortchange me. So I don't want to run the risk is basically what I'm saying when I'm just starting out. I, j I want to go for the offers that are going to pay anywhere from 10 to 30 bucks, 24 seven, two minutes or less and connect duration and home services niche. Those are the, those are my like getting started pre-qualifiers, if you will, for an offer. Everybody kind of follow that? Okay. Yes, good point. EPC is 200 up. 
Uh, 300 is uh, stellar. 300 is stellar. Exact match media. I haven't got any um, offers that fit that description. That fit what description? The description of 10 to $30, uh, home services. Um, How many offers are listed? In home services, about 15. 15, yeah, that's Most not many. Most of them are new. Only three of them have um, EPC. Is that your only affiliate network that you're approved for? Yeah. Ouch. I know. That's why you got to have several, right? So you may not be able to pick an offer yet. And if you do, yeah. it may not necessarily fit the getting started qualifications. Pick the closest one you've got if you if you got to run something. And tell me what it is so we can make sure it's it's the best one we can get. There are... Okay, there's two for Locksmith, one at $9 and one at $7. Okay. One, the one at $9 has an EPC of $203. Okay. Uh, let's look at the two. Is that seven day or 30 day? That's the seven, uh, oh, let's check. Um, that's the seven. Seven. Okay, seven day. What's your 30 day? Uh, there isn't one. On nope, okay, no worries. Let's see the terms. Yes, sir. Um, I found another offer which says a note for all new publishers, a 25 paid call per day cap will be in effect in the first 10 to 14 days. Would that uh, stop you considering that offer? No, not at all. Uh, you'd probably, with a smaller budget, be hard pressed when you're, when you're trying to find your data anyway to exceed that in the first two weeks. Oh, uh, by the way, I forgot to give you guys a timeline on this. This wasn't two months of work. <laughs> this was a couple of days to set up, if that. And then it ran from the 1st of September to the 20th, so three weeks. So I did that in three weeks, right? And when we, when we hone in on that, it's going to take me another couple of hours, maybe. And I'll let it run again for another three weeks. And I'll show you where, where we're at, OK? Then I'll probably be at the stage where I know my numbers extremely well, well enough to go and get clients in specific locations. You guys follow for the case study, just for reference. Forgot to tell you guys that. Good question. Yep, caps. I'm not. I'm not worried about caps necessarily because they're putting that in place to protect themselves. They want to make sure they get quality leads. They want to see how you do over the 10, 14 days, and then they'll take the cap off if you've got good quality. Good question. All right, Kerpel, did you have a question? Apps is is mobile apps. They don't want any traffic from mobile apps. Not Callzoo is not included on that. Callzoo is a tracking platform, so they don't mind you doing that. In fact, they encourage you to record your calls through actually. Well. I say this, a couple people that I know that teach encourage you to record calls through platforms like CallFire. Everybody familiar with CallFire pretty much? Okay. Well, who needs CallFire when you have CallZoo? <laughs> Use CallZoo. Yeah. Yeah. That might be just a typo. Like a miss, you know, somebody messed up, a boo-boo. Call your affiliate manager. Tell them to fix it. <laughs> they probably will, too. Oh, thank you for catching that. Anybody, who show of hands, who does not have your offer yet? Who does not have your offer yet? One guy. It's okay. Don't. Hey, man, I'm here for you guys. Don't feel bad. Don't apologize to me for asking questions. That's the fastest way to get me upset. <laughs> Don't apologize to me. I'm here for you. If you got questions, please ask them. I'll answer them. Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. One of the offers here is like noyp.com. Is it yellow pages? No, yellow pages.com. Yeah, yp.com. They just don't want that traffic. Uh, she had a question, I believe. Um, I see get a stair lift now. What's and that? it says get a stair lift. Oh, stair now. lift now. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not sure what the niche is, but. It also says um, search traffic must use the negative keywords list. Yes, and there should be a link for the mm -hmm. negative keywords. Negative keywords go into your AdWords campaigns. I'll show you that tomorrow. Okay. But if you're going to do that offer, 
uh, and you apply to it, then just make sure you, you know you you go back and grab those negative keywords and put them in your campaign. And I'll help you with that, no problem. But good question. Yes, sir, Jesse. What's up? Um, if like for example, if search isn't even l in the listing up there, should be good to go. Should but be good to go, right? Here's what I would do. Here, Double check. Here's what I would do, boys and girls. I would find your offer. When you find your offer, apply to it, right? Apply to it. We're going to go and submit the creative, okay? Once the creative is submitted, then you can come back and during business hours on the East Coast, we can call and get and check on that. That's, that's what I would do, call your affiliate manager. I'm not sure if they're open on Saturday, so that's, that's something I didn't think about. hope they are. Yes, sir. Um. On the compliance guidelines for one of the offers, it says publishers must target specific zip codes found here, and it gives you a huge long list in an Excel sheet. Uh, do you know the rationale behind that? The rationale behind that is they can only serve those areas. They, can, they only have people, providers that can serve in those areas. So all we got to do is plug those into locations. Instead of running nationwide, we just run those, those specific zip codes. Good question. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Um, I found one that's a 24-7 emergency plumbing service. And okay. in, in the description it says $25 off any service. So presumably you can offer that to people reading the ads. Um, and then the, um, it, the payout is $9 per call. Um, okay. So it sounds like you're able to offer the person a discount, which is an incentive for them to click on that ad. So... What do you think of that? Is that a good one? Offering them a discount? Yeah. That's a conversation I would have with the affiliate manager. No, uh, sorry, I'm talking about the description of the campaign mentions, right. the description says 24 slash 7 emergency plumbing service, $25 off any service. You can put that in the ad then. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's yeah. just checking. If it's, listed on the, if it's listed on that campaign, that's why it's so important to read everything. Yeah. Good call, mm -hmm. good catch. Cool. Yeah, you can okay. put that in your ad. Yes, sir. Thank Did you get an offer yet? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I, I'm looking at a uh, 24 hour, 24 seven locksmith. Um, okay. And it's got a whole list of services. Okay. A couple of them, like one says master key hyphen inactive. Okay. And another one change cylinder inactive. I guess, um, saying it's inactive, that's a that's a keyword that you don't want to be bidding on. What is? Uh, where, where they've got, it's got a list of about 12 services. Two of them say inactive after it. So, it mean, am I to think that that's... It says services master key. inactive. It says master key hyphen inactive. Does that mean the service is to activate an inactive master key? Which doesn't I'm make lost. sense. I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing you what go. you're seeing. I'm lost. I Hold think on. they I'm might have back. initially had this list and then updated it. So, they no longer want you to promote the master key inactive. Master key. Yeah. Oh, they just don't want you to promote that. Uh, that that, that yeah. yeah an, okay. Just make sure it's in negative keywords. Most likely they'll take care of it. Okay. Yeah. Good question. All right. So everybody's got their offer, yes? Say again. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. If everybody has their offer selected, go ahead and apply for it. If you've already applied for it, go ahead and start on your creative. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you do is put call and colon and then the phone number. That's the first line of the ad copy. Make sure to select other and put call only ads. Call only ads. Make sure it's very clear. And then the two lines of copy can be something you th you're thinking about using. You're going to want to copy paste that all, the whole copy, and save it somewhere. Notepad. I like Google Sheets. I like to save all my stuff on Google Sheets because you're going to need that later for when we make your ads. So everybody's applying for offers, right? Man, Ring Partner's going to be like, holy shit. It's like 100 ap approval requests coming in in like two minutes. Yeah, but they have to approve you in order to be able to come in and create it, right? No. No, you have, to, you have to apply and then submit your creative in order to get approved. It's actually both. You have to do both. No, that's to request 
creative to use, not submit the creative you're going to use. There's a difference. See what I'm saying? That's for if you're running display, they give you banner ads that you can use and say, here you go, try this on, you know, on display. But we're not doing display. We have our own ad copy. Question in the back. Mr. Grant. Mike is coming. Here we go. Yeah. Um, can you just explain about the phone numbers for the creatives? You, you sort of said use 0800 or oh, oh, free um, against local. But I'm thinking, would people in America, say if they saw a Phoenix local phone number, but they were based over in California, would that put them off calling it? I, d I don't know how people are more likely to choose a free phone because with mobile plans and everything, most calls are free anyway, aren't they? Okay, so you can stick with toll-free. Uh, I always like to niche down once I've got a specific geographic area. So in AdWords is actually a way to target people that are only in that location, not people that are searching that location. So someone in California, based in California searching for Phoenix, I, I would, my ad wouldn't show for them because I only get people that are actually physically in Phoenix searching. So that's how I, that's how I remedy that one. For, on the locations, hopefully that, hopefully that helps. Got a question here? I hold on. I, it's hard to hear over other people, which is fine. But I just need you to, yeah. Yeah, I've got an error message here that says that uh, they cannot assign a promotional number until I've been approved for the campaign. What? It, what's the uh, what's the niche? Uh, it's in it's Astoria. And what's it's the niche? Bath, bath remodeling. What is it? Bath remodeling. Bath remodeling, and they yeah. can't give you what? A promo number. Approval number. A promo number, a telephone number. Promo number, yeah. You've got to be approved for the campaign before you can get a phone number, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. They're saying they don't give you a way to promote the offer until you're approved to promote the offer. That's all that is. Right. Should be good to go. Just apply to the offer, it should be good to go. Gerpel, what you got? But you have to be approved. Right. Okay. You have to be approved first. And then when you're approved, you can go back and get the number. Right. Okay. I think he's trying to ask you, like, how to get to the creative um, part, like, yes, in Wing Corner. That's on Astoria. You were right. That's on Astoria. He's, he's Astoria. Okay. Right. Let me take a look. They may not. Do you have the same problem? Click on creatives. Okay, you can't add here. Let's see. Those are the creatives you can use. Uh, go back to the main Astoria site. Not that, no, Astoria, you're still in Invoca. There you go. No, that's still Invoca. Go, go to the main, yeah, no, but I understand, I understand, but see is where it says Invoca? It's actually Invoca, it's not Astoria. It's Astoria's in Boca. I want you to go to the main, yeah, I want you to go into the main Astoria page, which is, no. Uh, go up to your address bar, type in Astoria. Astoria. Right, AstoriaCompany.com. Boom. And there should be a way to submit creative. All right. Once you're logged in, do, uh, should be publishers. Oh, go back. Uh, go back to publishers and stay on it. Okay. Um, no, that's to that's to sign up. Try paper call drop down. Mobile paper call. Click on that. Looks like you're going to have to call the affiliate manager to find out how to submit creative. You may not even you may not even have to with the story. So some networks don't require you to commit uh, to submit. Okay, some networks don't require you to submit creative. One second, sir. One second, sir. Uh, some networks do not require you to submit creative before they approve or disapprove you. Um, can we get the mic over to? Uh, or, oh, it's coming back here, and it'll come back up to you. Don't worry, I won't forget you. You're good to go on your approval. You've applied? Yes, sir. Awesome. Uh, I would wait just a minute. We're going to take a break uh, in a second. Go ahead, sir. Everybody ready for a break? <laughs> yeah, okay, good. 
the creative, are you doing that online or are you doing it in a notepad? Because I don't see a place to do it. Uh, which, which network are you trying to? EMM. EMM? Okay. You may have to reach out to them and find out where you submit creative if you even need to submit creative. Did it say in the campaign details that you need to submit creative? It didn't tell me anything, but you were saying we should start writing it or something. I right. You, I if, you, if you need to submit creative, yeah, copy and paste your creative and save it's it. It's only after approval. Right. If it's not, if you don't need it for approval, then so you don't, I don't need, need it. So I don't need to do anything but sit down. What's that? So I don't can need you, to do anything the but mic, sit can down. You put the, I'm sorry. Can you put the mic up closer? Because I can't hear you. Right, <laughs> You're way so back there. So there's nothing to do now then? Is Again. There, to, to, is there nothing now to do? Just sit except, down. Yeah. Once all this is done, we're going to take a break. Yes. Should be good. All right. We got Bill from Boston. And then we got uh, the showman here. Is it Stephen? Stephen? What's it? Elmer. That's right. Sorry. Bill. Hey. Can you show us on that website where you go to submit it, the creative? On Ring Partner? Yeah. We're yeah, going sure. Now. So Ring Partner. I'm in Invoca. Everybody see how I'm in Invoca on Ring Partner? I actually go to Ring Partner's dashboard, not Invoca. See how there's no Invoca up in the address bar here? And what I do is I click on creative approval. Everybody see creative approval? Once I click on that, the campaigns that I've applied to are going to load down here. Let me take it a second. And I select the campaign from the drop down. See that? So if it's true green or pest control Terminix, whatever it is. So let's say true green. And down pops the campaign promotion methods. I'm going to put other. I'm going to do call only ads. Everybody remember this from this morning? Everybody, you good for here, Bill? Yeah. Okay, good deal. Uh, and then Elmer had a question. I, th I think you answered that because um, I was on, on the Ring Partner Invoker uh, dashboard and I applied for a campaign without filling in any information. You Just apply for a campaign without filling I in anything? Yeah. At so, the bottom? I'm sorry? At the bottom, you mean, where it says yeah. ask about promotional yeah, yeah, methods? Yeah, yeah. You didn't put anything in? No. So what, I'm, I'm stuck now. What do I what do? I, do? Uh, I would call your affiliate manager and let them know, hey, it's call-only ads. They may not approve you until you tell them that either. Yeah. But they'll let you know one way or the other whether they approve or deny and okay. why. Okay. 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 A lot of questions coming in. I want to get some questions in, and then we're going to take a break. So keep that in mind. The offer, uh, the offer that I um, applied to was yes. through EMM, and there was just the description, the call ads only. There was no ad text. Now, I think that I, if I remember correctly, I have to submit ad copy through email directly to my uh, rep, account manager. Okay, there you go. So just submit it via email to your rep, and you should be good to go. Yeah. Good call. Uh, she had a question, and then we've got a gentleman in the back has got a question. Just a quick one. Are we likely to get it approved, to, given that it's either today the of the or tomorrow? Night, I'm hoping you know, for it. I'm going to call day. Ring Partner and see if I can get one of them oh. on the phone. Um. If I can't, we may or may not get approved. Either way, we're still going to set up campaigns. We're still going to start ads and get them ready to run. Okay. Either way, with a call so the phone it, number instead of right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we, Michael's got a question here quickly, and then we got a guy in the back, and then we're going to take a break. When we're submitting the creative. Um, they have search regular or other promotion type. Is this other promotion? Uh, what's the question? When we're submitting the creative, the check boxes are uh, search regular other. or other, promo other, other promotion? Other call only ads. Other call only ads. That's what you put. Question in the back. And now we've got a question up here. <laughs> They're pouring in. So right now, what do we use for our – can we just use any web page that we, uh, we have for something else for – just for this creative? Uh, that's a good question. Actually, um, we're going to need to build a page before we <laughs> apply to offers. That's great. So you, <laughs> when you said something about, you know, you, were gonna, you use the same domain for all of yours. Are Correct. You, are you getting a generic, like, home services? Correct. That? Actually, directhomeservice.com, that's my domain. And then I do a forward slash and the keyword yeah. for, the, for whatever, whatever I'm promoting. Uh, which I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, and so, so we need to buy a, a domain name tonight. Go ahead. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that now. like after we take a break and then go back and do keyword discovery. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Question, Caroline. You should be generating a toll-free number and call Duke, too. You're still going to get 
Yeah, you're going to want to do that at some point. If you want to do that tonight, go ahead and get ahead of the curve. Sure. Absolutely, you can do that. No, no. That doesn't matter. It could be a fake number. It could be a fake number. You could put X's in there. They don't care. No. They just want to see that where the phone number would go in the format. They don't actually need a real number. No. They just want to know where the number would go. You could put X's, right? 555, 867, 309, whatever you want to put, right? 5309. Yeah, 5309. Sorry. Say that again. Right. Just leave it blank or, um, yeah, just leave it blank. If we have to reapply, we reapply with the, with the page that we build. All right. Let's take a break. And uh, if you got to get on the phone, get on the phone. If you got to write your creative, write your creative and submit it. But uh, what, what do you say, 10 minutes? 10 minutes break. What time is it? We got uh, uh, straight up 6 o'clock. So we'll be back. Let's do, yeah, let's do 10 minutes. We'll do 10 minutes. We'll be back at 6.10. Everybody good with that? All right.